fading in from black on my iPad. I didn't get to make a video, audio, whatever this is yesterday. Because my iPad was rawned out of juice. So, it's kind of that way now. It's taking a really long time to charge and it just charges really fast. But I went door dashing today and I took a picture of that while I was waiting at McDonald's. I thought we say it's five dollar orders that end up taking a half an hour. And then you really, I don't think I'm even netting ten dollars an hour. Putting a lot of miles on my car too, like a, a lot. I don't want to say like a thousand in the last two weeks. So anyway, I mean, my car gets 260 miles to the gallon. I mean to the tank, which is 13 gallons. Anyway, it's just, I don't, I don't think this is going to be any kind of long-term thing. So, but it's, you know, it's okay. Just wish it was a little more, you know, sustainable. Not even lucrative. Like, I wish I could just do this and not have to worry about anything. But we're going to get on to a happier subject. In a couple minutes, like a minute maybe, not even. But we're gonna wait for the next picture. This is supposed to be a like a thing where you just come and listen to this before you go to sleep. And it's really not about anything in particular. I'm just it ends up just being my my you know vlog, vlog but you know bedtime vlog rhymes better, alliteration's better. I'm really excited for you to see the next picture or hear about it, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're seeing this and you're listening, or maybe you just closed your eyes and you're drifting to sleep. I will be drifting to sleep soon. Here comes the next picture. Two second fade. That's my cat. I got that pillow of goodwill. Who knows how long ago? Years ago. Sometimes he puts his head on it. <laughs> but he was just sitting like that. It's a picture of my cat next to a pillow that says comfort. And then it says something in Corinthians. And he's just kind of curled up. In a U shape. He's got a raccoon tail. He's like a raccoon. He's a gray tabby. That's what he's technically called. But I think he's a Bengal tabby. If you ask me. Now, that picture I took a couple days ago. Maybe like a day or two ago. And it should have gone on a video that I made yesterday, probably. But I never made that video, as we already discussed, or I already told you about it more accurately. So, I was just watching a video about Gen Z, and it was a millennial explaining that millennials were valuable in they're the only ones who understand Generation Z. I've been watching a bunch of Generation Z stuff lately, actually. It's fascinating. I'm a gener Generation Xer. And my children are, gener are Millennials. So I totally get Millennials. And I totally get Gen X. I totally get Boomers. Because like they're just one generation above me, 
and that my parents were the silent slash lucky generation, so I totally get that, that generation as well, but I don't know too much about Zebras, but I actually feel like I do, actually, but... Whatever. I want to wind up. I'm a slacker. What do we got next here? Now, we got a picture of the moon, but I had to cut out some street signs because I don't want anybody to identify where I live. Because, oh gosh, I have zero followers right now. I'm so worried about one of my fans finding me. <laughs> Whatever. I try to keep a low prof. You know, I don't know. People think sometimes like, oh, if you don't use your real name and your real address and your real this and your real that, you're insert negative word. You know, I could flip that and just say, if you're all using all your, you know, your mug on TV and the on the camera, you know, if you want me to throw the word narcissist at you, yeah, come on, let's not call each other names. If I don't want to be all out there in people's faces, and you do, you do you, I'll do me. I'll let to be a little, you know, not in your face about where I am, specifically. I'm in the U.S. You could probably tell my accent if you know accents in the United States, but I'm not where, I'm a transplant, I'm not where I was born, and the pictures that you could tell I'm not there if you're perceptive, because I posted a lot of pictures, I'm in the southwest, I'm from the northeast, now really, am I from the northeast or mid-Atlantic? I think I feel like I went from the northeast to the southwest. I went down to where it was warm. Here comes the next picture. Look at that. The Kiwanis Clubs. They're everywhere. Uh, that's the mood. It's not full yet, but it's just about full. Tomorrow is officially the full moon. I don't know what exactly what time. Did you know the full moon? is just for like a second. It's just like, you know, 11.59 p.m. It's not all day. But like, I don't know. It just reaches the fullest 100%. I mean, for probably a second or a day. So who knows how long. But it says tomorrow is the actual full moon. <sighs> I was taking a picture of the moon, but, I mean, it's really, it's, the iPad doesn't always take such a great picture of the moon. We got another picture coming up after this one, and if you're just listening to this, like, there's like a tiny bit of a Kiwanis Club in the picture, but it's just like a dot with a filter. I like to use the blast filter on this iPad Air too. I need to slow down because I'm still talking way too fast, I feel. Whatever. I can't see the next picture. I want to see what it is. Oh yeah, this is a sunset picture that I didn't really look at. I assumed it came out, but it didn't, so it's going to be blurry. And then after that, it's going to be a picture of a, a, it's not a screenshot, but it's technically, it is a screenshot, because I shot a picture of a screen with my iPad, just for you, of what I've been listening to today. And then after that is another picture of my cat. I figured, let me give you a picture of the cat right in here right now where he actually is on a purple towel curled up on top of a plastic bin that contains a bunch of wires 
like computer stuff, cords, not wires, cords, and you know that box, I don't know, does everyone have a box like that? It's like a toolbox full of computer stuff. That's on top of a mini fridge. That is next to, or in the middle of two chairs, that's how he gets up there. He jumps on the chair, and then he jumps upon the, the bin with a towel over it. Anyway, we're at the next picture. I, I like the colors. I like the filter. It's all rainbow if, you, if you're just listening. It's just the sunset. It's got a weird blur to it, though. So, I didn't take it any other pictures. Well, I did. I took pictures at McDonald's. I took a picture of my feet and the stay six feet away. And, and then I took a picture of a menu at, like, Sonic. Like, oh, uh, how do people eat this? Let me show you those two pictures. Hang on. Let me stop this and insert them so you can see them. So seamless. Here they are. That's me and my feet and my moccasins. And I couldn't get the sign without a shadow through it. That's the best I could get. I can't believe they just keep you waiting. They didn't even have the order. They're like, we don't have an order. I'm like, it, it sent me here. And then they found the order. Then they had to make the order. And it was like a $5, like, do you want to run on this on your way to your other order? I'm like, okay. No more $5 orders. There I am at a Sonic. I, I, I've never been to any of these places. It's just like, I can't believe so many people eat these. The bags just have grease dripping all the way through them. So, I mean, I'm sure they're good and all. But my stomach couldn't handle that. I'm like a baby. I have a baby stomach. Like, what you would feed like a one-year-old. No, like a six-month-old. That's what I eat. <laughs> but my stomach never hurts. And, you know, that's a good thing. So, I had just had some dates with cashew butter. See, that's better than any of this I'm on this menu. And that's what I think. Do this today. is what I've been in. I wasn't going to talk about stuff like this on my whatever you want to call this. But this is what I've been listening to. But I don't really want to talk about it. I don't know what to talk about it. I've been listening to this stuff that's like how to escape the like being reincarnated and stuff. And it's just like it's kind of like self-liberation is just kind of like, it's it's just confusing because it kind of walks along the line of like, I don't know, I don't want to say the word, say any words, but it's basically like you're supposed to just go into yourself or something. And face your fears. And come into your power of yourself. But not in a bad way. In a positive way. Rather than a like. Ooh I'm going to be powerful. And you know. Manipulate people. It's just like you come into your power. In a positive way. And it has to do with meditating. And. Being able to have an out-of-body experience and or, I guess, meditate and or have an out-of-body experience. But it's kind of scary. I always get kind of scared. I get scared. So, you know, but you're supposed to 
face your face your fears. Self liberation through seeing with the naked with naked awareness. I found them in multiple places. And let me tell you about how I go to sleep at night lately. I really enjoy it. I'm enjoying it too much. I'm getting attached to it. <laughs> There's my cat. So that means we got about three minutes left of this. Whatever this is. So here's what I do when I go to sleep lately. I leave my computer on. And I have my keyboard next to me. So all I have to do is tap, 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 tap the, uh, the space bar. And then whatever I'm playing will either go on or off. So I'm going to be playing that book at half speed or was it a quarter speed? No. 70.75, three quarter speeds. I'm really tired. <sighs> So I'm going to play it slow down, and then I'll fall asleep to it, and if I, it goes to the end, and I wake up, I'll just, you know, start it over again, or I'll know I'm falling asleep to it, and I'll tap my space bar, and I'll stop it, so when I wake up in the middle of the night, which I do every single night, after like four hours of sleep, I can just continue listening, and it helps me get back to sleep really fast. It actually helps me fall asleep to hear something, which is what I feel like I'm doing. But at the same time, like, I'm really not talking about anything specific. So I don't know if anyone's even going to want to listen to me talk about, like, whatever for 15 minutes, chunks at a time. Anyway, we're winding down now, and... I'm going to stop talking soon. Uh, maybe you're sleeping, maybe you're not. That's not really my concern. But if you like what you are getting here, I'm not really getting any engagement yet, but I want to make more of these videos. I only have like five or six of them. So I'm going to keep making them, even if it's just for me to have a journal of like what my days are like and what I'm doing. You know, that'll be cool, too. And if, as long as I can make them pretty easily without too much wear and tear on my wrist, I'm going to keep making them. So with that, I will wish you a good night and pleasant dreams. And I hope you have a very restful, relaxing, and rejuvenating sleep. Bye for now.